my friends out there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining me and welcome. My name is Elizabeth Garza and I'm with Live Craft and Love. And today I am bringing you day seven of our 13 days of Halloween craft series. Now I know I did not post this video yesterday and my apologies for that. I had a little bit of a family emergency and I did not get to upload any of um, uh, the video or anything like that. So um, I do apologize, but I promise you today I will be bringing you two videos just so that way I can catch up. I will bring you, I will be bringing you day seven and day eight, which is today, um, to you this today during, the, by probably by this afternoon. So again, my apologies for it. Um, I just had to take care of some personal things with my family, but everything's okay, everything's set, so let's get started. So day seven's project is going to be rather simple, but super cute. I used the Simple Stories Halloween collection uh, to create this cute little tag. And the tag, all I, I just used the collection itself. The only thing that I did not use a collection for was this house. Now, this house I did use as a file on my Cricut. All I, you know, I searched up was Halloween Haunted House, and this one popped up. So the Halloween house was uh, created using nothing but just plain old colored cardstock. I have it matted on some purple cardstock. The house itself is black with some orange. Um, embellishments I get not embellishments but I guess like a trim not trim Jesus um accents there you go there's some orange accents on the house and the yellow background to make it seem as if light's shining through so yeah that I used with the Cricut but everything else came from Simple Stories Halloween collection I pretty much I challenged myself to use nothing but the stickers to create a little Halloween haunted house scene uh, so that was my inspiration for this uh, project right here. Let me bring it in closer to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Now here I used this little moon banner sticker, some bat stickers, some star stickers, um, some a spider sticker, and then I used four of its character stickers and the little um, sentiment that says Happy Halloween. And now here I did put the skeleton as if it's peeking from the back of the house. Um, like this right here and then these three the vampire the witch and the mummy I use some foam dimensional foam tape as you can see to pick it up a little bit make it a little bit more dimensional and I did that to everything else in the scene except for the banner and the skeleton those are in the back and behind the house uh, so yeah that's super simple now the cute thing about this is it's not necessarily a tag it is a little um, decorative thing to put up like maybe on your table or something for a decoration for Halloween because I did create it into a little easel so it does stand up so I know you can't really see it in that angle um, but it does stand up from the on, on your table so you could probably just picture it on, on your table just like this but standing up so there you have it and it, I have this little um, easel attachment in the back of the tag. Now this tag is triple mounted with um, 110 pound black cardstock from Michael. So it is very sturdy. It, it is like a poster board or even thicker than that. So this is a very sturdy type of uh, decoration to put on your little table um, as a Halloween you know, accent to your home. So that's pretty much it guys. All I did was I cut the the tag in a rectangular shape and just nipped the, the corners to make it look into a tag and I just uh, adhered everything else to it. Nothing, nothing very complicated about it. It's super cute. Now this is a really good type of a uh, project to do if in any case you're left with just a little bit of scraps but a good amount of stickers left over and like a sticker sheet and try and challenge yourself to create a scene using nothing but the stickers. And that's what I did. I had this left over from a previous project I did and I had all the stickers left over and I wanted to use them because they're super cute. Um, so I figured I would try and do something like this and it worked out. I thought it came out really adorable and it's something that I'm going to be placing on my, you know, my coffee table for, you know, the day of Halloween when we have the kids, you know, friends come over and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget that you need to subscribe to my channel. 
Rosa Kelly's scrapbooking and Sir Chauncey Rockwell Creative Designs. I will link their videos down below. Make sure you subscribe through all three of our channels. Like and comment down below so that way you are entered into our giveaway. We're having two giveaways and I did forget to mention the last time what one of my giveaway prizes will be and one of my giveaway prizes will be my Alice in Wonderland book in a box and mini folio. So this right here Oops, that's an extra flower. This right here, along with the folio that goes inside, will be my uh, first giveaway prize. Uh, so yeah, so this is one of the prizes that I will be giving out. For those of you who are subscribed to all three of our channels, like and, sub and comment down below. Um, so that way you can be entered to win this beautiful little Alice in Wonderland box. Now, I am not going to tell you when I'm going to pick the winner. I could pick it probably today or next uh, the next few days or just wait till everything is done and then pick it from all 15 or sorry, all 13 videos. So the best thing to do is just comment, like and subscribe for all the videos and do that as quickly as possible because you never know when we're going to pick our winner. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, like I said, and you enjoyed this cute little uh, project. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and I love each and every one of you so, so much. As always, live passionately, craft often, and love endlessly. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Big hugs.